later on. Hi everyone, I am here with a Bible reading. Sherm is here as well to follow along. I hope you guys are having a good day. We're supposed to get very high winds today, 60 to 70 miles an hour. We're supposed to have storms. It's actually already rained here once. Today we're going to be reading in the King James Version. We're going to be reading Acts chapter 7, verses 30 through 50 today. When Sherman lets me know he's ready, I'll continue on. Watermelon then quit writing, so I just tore the watermelon off. Okay, Psalm 128 today. And Proverbs chapter 16, verses 31 through 33. Alright. So, let's get down to Acts chapter 7 here continuing on where we left off yesterday where Stephen is giving a speech to the Sanhedrin alright let's begin and when 40 years were expired there appeared to him in the wilderness of Mount Sinai an angel of the Lord in a flame of fire in a bush. When Moses saw it, he wondered at the sight. And as he drew near to behold it, the voice of the Lord came unto him, saying, I am the God of thy fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Then Moses trembled and durst not behold. Then said the Lord to him, Put off thy shoes from thy feet, for the place where thou standest is holy ground. I have seen, I have seen the affliction of my people which is in Egypt, and I have heard their groaning, and am come down to deliver them, and now come, I will send thee into Egypt. This Moses, whom they refused, saying, Who made thee a ruler and a judge? The same did God send to be a ruler and a deliverer by the hand of the angel, which appeared to him in the bush. And Moses also took, God allowed him to, his brother Aaron. Aaron did a lot of the speaking because Moses wasn't a very good speaker. He brought them out. After that, he had showed wonders and signs in the land of Egypt and in the Red Sea. That's where he parted the Red Sea, where the waters were parted. And in the wilderness, forty years. This is that Moses, which said unto the children of Israel, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me, him shall ye hear. Speaking about Jesus. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness with the angel which spake to him in the Mount Sinai, or sorry, in the Mount Sinai, and with our fathers who received the lively oracles to give unto us, to whom our fathers would not obey, but thrust him from them and in their hearts turned back again into Egypt, saying unto Aaron, Make us gods to go before us. For as for this Moses, which brought us out of the land of Egypt, we wot not what is become of him. This is when Moses went up into the mountain, up into Mount Sinai, to the Lord was giving him the Ten Commandments on the stone tablets, and people were getting restless that were down there with Aaron in the, in the desert waiting. 
They didn't know if Moses was coming back or not. They didn't have faith. Once again, they abandoned the Lord their God. They all threw their um, jewelry together, melted it down, and out came the image of a golden calf. And they worshipped this calf. When Moses came down and seen this, he was furious and threw down the gold, threw down the stone tablets in a rage and broke them because he was so angry. So then he had to go back up again later for God to remake the tablets again. They turned their back on the Lord many times, but God always forgave them. And they made a calf in those days and offered, uh, offered sacrifice unto the idol and rejoiced in the works of their own hands. Then God turned and gave them up to the worship, the host of heaven, as it is written in the book of the prophets, O ye house of Israel, have ye offered to me slain beasts and sacrifices by the space of forty years in the wilderness? Yea, ye took up the tabernacle of mulch, and the star of your God, Rapham, figures which ye made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. Our fathers had the tabernacle of witness in the wilderness, as he had appointed, speaking unto Moses, that he should make it according to the fashion that he had seen which also our fathers that came after brought in with Jesus into the possession of the Gentiles, whom God drave out before the face of our fathers unto the days of David, who found favor before God and desired to find a tabernacle for the God of Jacob. But Solomon built him a house. How be it? The Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet. Heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. What house will ye build me, saith the Lord? Or what is the place of my rest? Hath not my hands made all these things? And that's where we're going to stop with the book of Acts today. And now we are going to Psalm 128, which is a very short psalm again. Ready? Blessed is every one that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Thy wife shall be as fruitful vine by the sides of thine house. Thy children like olive plants round about thy table. Behold, that thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. The Lord shall bless thee out of Zion and thou shalt see the God of Jerusalem all the days of thy life. Yea, thou shalt see thy children's children, and peace upon Israel. Amen. That was Psalm 128. And now um, we're going to read Proverbs chapter 16, verses 31, 32, and 33. The howry head is a crown of glory, if it be found in the way of righteousness. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a city. The lot is cast into the lap, but the whole disposing thereof is of the Lord. Alright guys, that was our Bible reading for today. I hope it touched your hearts. Let me go over the um, prayer requests really quick. 
Okay, for our prayer requests, please keep the following people in prayer. Sherman Crabtree, Michelle Watkins, Layla and Rosanna Mill, Cindy and Jim Welsh, Rhonda Karshner, Abby Myers, Jimmy Myers, Dora Parker, Norman Karshner, J.D. Wood, Melody Stanley, Randy Post, Garnet Boyer, Jim Mitchell, Elizabeth Jeffries, Ray Dunlap, Tabitha Clary, and Henry Reffitt. All right, guys, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus and God willing. We'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.